Welcome to Mr. Brazil's AP Physics 1. Today is a lesson on linearization, part 1. Um, below in the description, I'll have a link to part 2, um, so you can do some further study. So let's get started. Um, here is the beauty of linearization. In this case, let's take an object that's being dropped. As the object drops, gravitational acceleration is constant, but the velocity changes and so does the distance. At each point, if we would take a sensor, you'd probably get a data table that looks like much like mine. Well, let's plot this, and you'll notice it will produce a polynomial type graph where there's a curve. You could do a polynomial regression and try to determine a constant like gravitational acceleration, but it's much easier to do a linearization. And let me show you what that means. Um, Example, here's the equation that's used for a falling object. It's pretty classic. Um, y final equals y naught, the initial uh, distance, plus the initial velocity, v naught, times t, time, plus 1 half g, g. Um, the known constant for Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared, times t squared. Knowing that the initial velocity and the initial distance is zero, we end up with an equation where y final equals one half gt squared. Well, this looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like a y equals mx plus b? Check this out, where m is one half g, and instead of plotting t, we take t squared as x. Meaning, look at the data table that I have here. Instead of plotting time, we take time squared. So like 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 uh, squared is 9. And so these are pretty classical numbers that you, can, uh, you, sh you should know. But we do not change y since y is produced from squaring t or just t at these distances. Well, if you plot those, you will have a graph that is linear. It's, it's beautiful how it works. I love it. Um, but on top of that, if you notice the slope of this line, negative 4.894 is 1 half g. Let me show you what that means. Um, that slope is m. Well, that m is 1 half g. So if we make these equal to each other, do a little algebra, you will find that you can determine your gravitational acceleration. In this case, for this data, negative 9.79. The negative is just due to a downward direction. But we can now do a percent error, which we can measure our accuracy of our experiment, and do some error analysis, and do any other type of study. So the beauty of linearization is that we can find our constant using the simplicity of a y equals mx plus b type equation form. So please see part two to see something a little more complicated and see how that gets linearized. And um, practice and look up other YouTube videos on this topic. Enjoy your physics.